Hello, I'm Bex with Black Whisper Crafts, and I'm just continuing on with my Altered Composition Notebook to go ahead and start my yearly calendar. I start my calendar in October. We've already done the front cover, covered it, taken out some pages, and the back cover. I just put this black cardstock on here because I knew I was going to put more things on it. So I got out this Park Lane paper pad. I'm pretty sure this is from Joann's. Pretty sure. And this is one of my favorite pieces in here. I'm going to use this for the cover. That gorgeousness. And I'm also going to use... Well, I thought it was like really close to the back. Maybe not. Here they are. I cut out all of these. These are evenly spaced, which I love that. So I just cut them all out like this, and then I cut them on my small trimmer that way. So they're all individual, and there's actually only three different ones. This one, this one, and this one. I'm going to use those. Really, really cute for the cover. And let's see, I think I want to put some lace on this edge here. I like this lace because it is super thin. I think I want to fold it over to make it a little bit fuller. There's pretty much a natural fold line there. If you want to tear it, you can, but I am going to just fold it over. I'm going to leave a little bit at the top, a little bit at the bottom because I'm going to fold it over on the top. So I can put a little charm or something up there or just a ball pin or what have you. So let's just leave plenty. Just trim that off. Put this aside. If I need to put it this way, it's easier for me to see what I'm doing. About right there. Just want a little bit of it to show over the edge. I think I need to put on my little ties. I like to put little ties on them too. I think I need to put those on first before I put this on. Let's go ahead and do that. Of course I have my crinkle seam binding. I want to put the crinkle seam binding here because I like to tie them. I like to tie my journal calendar. I call this my everything book of chaos actually. So I need it to be about that long and then I need some to actually tie with. Plenty of room. Let's get two of these. So I need one for the back. So I'm just going to staple this because I'm going to have a cover piece over it so this can be glued under it. I'm not going to do it all the way around. I don't see a point. I don't need that. Let's see. About there. That looks about in the middle. Not too concerned that it's not perfectly in the middle. Actually, I have to go this direction. Get one staple in, it goes a lot faster. Okay, got that stapled down. That will work. Let's go ahead and smash these. They're pretty flat, but I want to make sure they're good and flat because they'll be going under the cover. There. Much better. Okay, that will work. And it will be flat on the inside because the inside is will be where I'll be writing at. So I'd rather it be flatter there. Okay, let's get the back piece on. Make sure we have the right length. 
here about right there okay let's smash these down that one doesn't reach we'll just smash it like this I wasn't even thinking, was I? I already have the cover on the back. Okay, we will think of something to fix that. We'll put something over it. That is funny. <laughs> just didn't even notice. Okay, let's go get this orange piece of cardstock here. Go cut it down, and we'll be right back. Okay, here we are. Back, and... That's about where we want that at. I think we want the lace down first. Yes, we do. We want the lace down first. So I want it to be about there. I want this piece folded down a bit so that I can put some charms up there if I want to pull this down so I can see it too just barely out there this has black staples in it so I'm going to do that we are going to get these staples in here let me just make sure that's where I want it staple and double staple that one not too concerned because we're going to put another piece of cover stock card stock on the inside whoops i did not fold this one under do i want this one folded under the same as the other one yes i do let's take this staple out I need to invest in a staple remover. That worked though, didn't it? I want this to just be tucked under like the top one. So let's trim this off about right here. I think that will work. I'm sure nobody else has these troubles. <laughs> oh, so funny. Good times, good times. Okay, let's get the black staples. Let's see, how does that look? I think that looks fine. Just fine. Okay. Let's go ahead and smash these staples down real quick before we go further so I don't forget to do that step. first if you can see the staples because they're black I think they look great I think that might we'll put some glue under that but here's the piece and I've already round cornered it I just thought that might be pretty to just round corner it and I wonder if we should put it over it because we're going to put a piece of lace around about we just hmm, want it to be like right here. Let's get some fabric tack and put it over this little strip here. That way we make sure that that stays down really well.
don't need a lot, just enough for it to stay down. <laughs> Maybe it doesn't want to. There we go. Okay, I'm gonna pop the lid back on here. Now I'm going to use my Cosmic Shimmer Specialist Acrylic Glue and go around the edges. Wait a minute. We need to darken these edges, don't we? That will be okay to sit there for a moment. It'll be all right. Let's go ahead and just get these white edges here. put some glue on here so we can just pop it right on the top. I think I want it to go like right to that edge. really nice I like that and I did do it just a tiny bit over the edge there just to pop it right on that lace just a little bit more Not a little bit more but I actually did put it over on the lace maybe that'll help hold it a little bit and that later on I can come back and just pop some glue down here and there but I won't bore you with that and what I want to do is the black doilies that I hauled from Timu. I think they're so cute. I think I just want to put these on here. So I want to leave room for the lace there. So we'll put them more to this edge like that, but you can still see the bats. I like that. Leave that open there. About like that. Then I cut down the little which is, and let's see, let's get one of each of them. The two witches together, and then this one by herself. And then there's another one by herself. I like these. Let's see if we want that one there. Um, here's the little one that like, should go there. And the two witches is here. I think that might work out good. Let's go ahead and ink up these edges also. I wonder if I should round corner these. I'll think about it while I'm finishing this one up. So go ahead and get this one inked up so I don't forget. We can always come back and ink up the rounded corners. That looks much better. I like that. Let's go ahead and, hmm. Nope, nope. I want it to look more like a picture frame because I have the bookcases on the back and this will look like pictures on the wall. Let's just do that. Let's get it everything glued down. I want that to be a little ways from there, a little ways from there, and this one closer to the center part. Okay, go ahead and get this one glued down.
There, now that looks really cute. I like that. I'm leaving space over here for the lace. I really like how that turned out. I like that. And I just need to figure out what piece I want there. And now I need something to put there. Really messed that up. <laughs> I really did. I didn't think that through, did I? And then we'll just put something on the back cover. But in the meantime, I'm going to let this dry. I will put some more glue on this lace off camera, but I'm going to go ahead and stop the video for now. I don't want these to be too long. I'm going to do them in little short segments, but there's my cover, almost complete. Just need some lace right here. And I'm Bex with Black Whisper Crafts. Thank you so much for joining me. Have a wonderful crafty day.